Today I am wanting to show you how to do transmission service on 2007 Dodge Ram. We are going to drop the pan, drain out the fluid and replace two of the filters, the flat filter and the screw on filter. During this process you will learn what it takes and if you are man enough. This is time to unbutton chest to show chest hair like Burt Reynolds. During this process you will climb underneath the truck and first you need to identify the transmission pan. If you do not know what transmission pan is or you cannot locate it, stop now. You are clearly too stupid. Other things you may encounter are your exhaust pipe going across the truck right here. It may interfere with transmission pan dropping. This is unfortunate and huge pain in testicles. If you are unable to figure out how to get around this or you do not think it can be done, stop now. You are not man enough. Because these little bolts up here are known for breaking off and being very sensitive, it is important to first start by spraying with PB Blaster. Take your can of PB Blaster and spray each one of the bolts. It is good to wear eye covering during this process because PB Blaster burns your eyes. During this time it is important to take your time and carefully break loose the head of each bolt. Bolts will be slightly rusty and have corrosion on them and it will make it difficult to start the socket. If you cannot get this, there we go. Just gently break it loose. You're not trying to break the head off the board. There we go. Go through and find your way on each one. There we go. There's a lot of fluid already. I'm trying to come down. It's coming to America. We're in America right now. America is a wonderful country. You can get something to eat 24 hours a day in America. If you've got some money or a gun, you can get something to eat. Okay, that's coming from America. It is mess. You will make mess like this too. That is why you must have lots of oil absorbent pans and large drain pan on ground. Now that pan has been removed, you can see here the spin on filter. Many people talk about the spin on filter. And also here is the large flat filter. Now it is time to change filter. First thing you must do is remove this screw right here. Can you see that where I'm tapping? You remove that screw so that you can take out this entire big flat filter. This screw is Torx T25, very tight. Once you have taken it out, then inside of here there will be an O-ring. You get in there with O-ring tool, pull the O-ring out, slip new O-ring in, and then slip in new filter. Also, we will be unspinning this and removing that and putting on new filter. Make sure to put a little bit of oil on new filter ring. Many people say, what is this O-ring? I always hear about in transmission. This is O-ring here. As you can see, it has a small lip on the side. It must go in so the flat part is facing in. You put the skinny part into transmission. And then this seal will sit on outside of seal plate. It makes sense when you do it. It is also helpful to get a socket about this big and use that to push up into transmission like this. And then you can push it in flat that way so it will not leak.